Yo, what is going on? So the traditional focal range for street photography is normally somewhere between 35 or 50. That's what most purists normally use. However, ever since I saw Jason's Vaughn video with Professor Hines and started following him, I get to realize that he uses a bunch of different focal rings and he's one of the dopest street photographers out there. Most surprisingly is that he uses an 85 a lot to get a lot of those close in shots. So today is playoff day for the Atlanta Hawks. So I'm gonna run down there with the 85 mil, put it onto the A7 III and see if I could grab some shots here real quick. Two, eight. got down to the street and finally got the POV and the chest strap working. Wasn't all that great. I probably should have pointed it up a little bit more, but this is what we have going on here. So first shot here, I'm kind of walking up to this bar where people hang out not too far from the stadium. People are walking, people have on all these different throwback jerseys. I see this guy in this Dominique Wilkins jersey sitting down here, put the camera up and snap a quick shot of him. His friend actually caught me looking there. So I showed an uncropped version and he could see the other guy looking back at me. But if I showed a crack there, it looks a lot better. Walking by here, I wanted to get a picture of this guy in the Pistol Pete jersey, but trying to be incognito, I wasn't really able to get a shot of him without him or some of his friends seeing me there. Come around the corner, tried to snap some people here. Not much going on here, but as I walk up a little bit more, there's this guy here in a Trey Young jersey, a throwback Trey Young jersey, which I just thought was a good feel. Snapped him off there, and then I was just trying to get a decent composition. The cool thing about the 85 millimeter lens here is that you're able to separate the subjects from everything else that's going on, even when there's a lot of people there. So I couldn't really get them moving, so I just kind of snapped this one off here. This is one of my favorites out of all of the shots here from today. Another picture of all the people crossing the busy street here as I step over while everyone's crossing. Try to get a street photo of just the business of the day, everybody going to the game there. As I come up here to the CNN sign, there's this lady just hanging out in the CNN sign, in the CNN sign, taking a phone call, it seems like. Snapped a picture of her, couple different compositions. None of them really turned out great, but it was a still kind of cool look of somebody just hanging out doing their thing on the street there. And then randomly those same guys, as I was trying to frame this lady up here, kind of got into my shot. I kind of gave a cool looking shot of them in their traditional wear versus the actual cityscape there. I thought it was kind of cool. This is my biggest regret shot here for the day. So I'm looking over at the CNN deck and it has all these leading lines with the parking garage and the parking rails there. So I'm trying to see the best way to frame this up here. So I like everything that's going on in this shot. The shadows are looking good. The leading lines, like I said, but this car is just in the way and it won't move. And I happen to have this guy walking up there, but the car wouldn't move. So that kind of ruined the shot. I feel like that would have been my shot for the day. Turn and see if I got anything over here. Nothing else was really going on there. So then I crossed the street and tried to use the lines in a different way. Turned around and see if I could get some of the city of Atlanta with the same leading lines and just a different composition going on here. And this was almost perfection as well. I have the lines leading towards my subject, the city in the background. However, as my hands come down, you can see these people, they're kind of seeing what I'm doing. I'm pretending that I'm taking pictures behind them as they walked up. I wanted to get them right on the shadow so they were in the sunlight with the lines leading to them. This shot didn't turn out too bad. However, it would have been even better if it was just one of them and not two of them as I was doing there. And then I just kind of pretended like I was still taking shots turned around here. So coming to this parking deck that's here and this kind of goes with the theme of the day is just kind of overall miss shot so in this little canopy for this parking lot we have all these 
leading lines here and I wanted to just go dead center and maybe catch somebody in the middle of it with this 85 millimeter lens here and I have the lines from the canopy they're going in and they have the line down the middle we also have the eyes framing up there I try and get a test shot here but there's this guy with his son and that's not working out there and then this guy right here in the white jersey would have been the perfect shot but again He's kind of looking at me, I'm kind of off to the side, I'm trying to just get an um, in the motion incognito shot. What I should have done really is stop and ask him to take a picture. He probably would have said yes, he looked like the type of guy. That's just a missed opportunity there. Then I come over here from the parking lot and we have that same type of canopy on the lower level leading back to the State Farm Arena with the Atlanta sign in the columns there, however, the 85 millimeter was just too tight and even stepping back there, I couldn't get it. So even though I said I'd be out with the 85 mil, I was vlogging on the A7S3, which had the Tamron 17 to 28 there. So I did kind of cheat to grab a shot with the Tamron, as you see me pulling it out the back there and did take a shot at 28 millimeters. Threw this one in here just up on the screen so you guys could see that as well. And then just came back to the corner of the street there. I was trying to get a couple more shots that worked out just a little bit okay, but worked out to be all right just in the set. I did fix my settings a little bit better so you could see my compositions a bit better. I was trying to get some people here over crossing the street with that other Atlanta sign in the background there. Then with these guys right here, I was trying to get a composition, but my guy here in the Motombo jersey just didn't line up the way that I wanted there. And then I was waiting on this other guy in this Pistol Pete jersey to cross the street there, but he decided to go a different direction and cross the street somewhere else here in this old school jersey. So then I tried to grab some other people that had a similar jersey coming across the street here. As I was heading back to the car, I decided I realized I didn't get any look up shots. I've done a couple of skill shares with the homie Trash Hand from Chicago and he always recommends getting a look up shot. Grab this shot here of the building and it says true to Atlanta. Crap this one in and it just thought uh, it was just the same. It was just kind of cool and goes along with the day. And then on my last look up shot, I did not have any BTS there or POV because I got a phone call that's part of the downfall of using the iPhone there but I did get these lookup shots right here of the Centennial building here as well and then right before I got into the parking lot there was these three guys walking here and it was I think it just looked kind of cool because we have this guy in this old school Atlanta jersey the Sharif jersey and the Ben Simmons jersey it was a Philly playoff game there that we were watching. All right, that was kind of fun. Anyway, the 85 is really awesome, but it does take some getting used to how to shoot with it. I do think sometimes in a situation like this where it was some shots were wide, some people were close, some people were far or whatever, it kind of didn't work out into my advantage. I probably needed something that was a little bit wider, a little bit more traditional, like I was talking about. I do love how it is able to isolate isolate people from a busy street there so that is really cool so some of my favorite shots were the guy sitting down in the Wilkins jersey the guy in the Trey Young jersey on the side of the street and then obviously as I said there my favorite shot would have been those leading lines but that car was there and then last and then the people if it was just one person walking towards me with that other shot with those leading lines I thought that was particularly cool as I mentioned at the start of the video though I am not a pro street photographer but I did like how some of these pictures turned out and check me out I'm probably going to do some more street photography let me know down in the comments if you liked it and you could look and see my progress as I get better at doing whatever it is that I'm doing here and doing some more street photos with some different Sony cameras and some different lens setups. I'm probably gonna go out with the 17 to 28 from Tamron next because I think that'd be a good nice little focal range. And then the cheat code of all cheat codes for anything is the 24 to 70. I have the one from Sigma, so I'm going out with that one soon as well. So excited to try some more, excited to get back to this and grow with you guys as we grow this community. So hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button, and I will catch you in the next video. Big up yourself. Peace.